Welcome back to the Writer's Room. I'm Jane Cleland, the author of the Josie Prescott Antiques Mysteries, and it's my great pleasure today to be talking to Wendy Corsi Staub and her HarperCollins editor, uh, Lucia Macro. Wendy is the author of more than 75 novels in all sorts of different subgenres of the crime fiction world. Her books have been translated into a dozen languages. Uh, she's won numerous awards. And Lucia is an award winner in her own right. Lucia, let's start with how you work together, the editorial process, and how it translates into a working relationship. Idea inception mm -hmm. all the way through to post-production promotion. Oh my gosh, that's a long period of time. Yeah, it is. <laughs> but what I, what I love as an editor is the collaboration process, and that's what's so important to me as an editor. When an author comes to me with an idea or um, a book that she wants to work on, and we kind of talk it through and work together from the get-go to determine you know, what's the story going to be, how's it going to shape, are there any pitfalls? Does that ever happen with new authors, or do you have to be established before you can do that? I do that with every author I work with. I feel very, I mean, that's one of my favorite parts of the job, actually. Yeah. So I feel very strongly that that is, I mean, very first and foremost, the best part of the editor's job, and it's the part that she needs to really do the most of. Yeah, interesting. D does that mean that you're helping with plotting? Sometimes, yeah. yeah. We just talked mm -hmm. about a plot point last week that mm -hmm. I was stuck on, and I said, you know, and we were at a conference, and I actually said, let me just pick your brain yeah. for a second. We had five minutes, mm -hmm. and um, we sort of hammered it out. Mm -hmm. Oh, isn't that good? Yeah. It's interesting. And how do you communicate? Do you call one another? Do you email? All of the, the above. above. <laughs> we even text <laughs> now, yeah. How, um, how often do you talk? A few oh, times a week. A few times least, a week, but, yeah. at least. Usually, at least. Um, even when we're close to um, close to releasing um, a new trilogy now, like so, the closer mm -hmm. production gets, or when we're when she's got a manuscript or I'm about to hand it to her, um, could be a few times a day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. Uh huh. And you you started by saying, "Ooh, that's a long process from the idea to the it promotion." Is. How long is it? Well, for uh, for a traditionally you know print published book, it's about nine to twelve months. So, Nine to twelve months, mm -hmm. and talk to me, Wendy, a little bit about where you are now in that nine to twelve month cycle with the various projects. Well, that's what happens. You're at stage one in one project and stage, you know, month, you wow. know, ground zero launch time in the other. Wow. Um, so, how long book. does it take you to write a book? It usually takes me about three to four months of, of you know, really focusing. And those are my, my deadlines right now are, are pretty close together because I'm writing another trilogy. I just signed a contract and I'm writing book one of Wonderful. a new trilogy. But simultaneously, I'm about to launch um, my second trilogy with HarperCollins. And the first book called Night Watcher launches, goes on sale August 28th. And this is the first time that I'm doing back-to-back -back suspense novels. The first two titles will be released within a matter of a few weeks. They're, they're about Wow, now apart. why is that? What, how did that come about? It's a really strong way of uh, making a presence in the market and uh, really showing to, also shows to the readers that this is, you know, this is an event. It's, yeah. it's a real event kind of planning situation. Wow. Also, readers, when it's a series, they get really, really wrapped up in the story, and they don't want to wait, you know, a couple mm -hmm, of months or mm -hmm. a year or however long it could conceivably take. Never a year with Wendy, but yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, some yeah, people, yeah. No. they like that, that quickness. So the back-to-back -back allows them. I think it depends them. on the readers, doesn't yeah. it? And that must be part of it, because, of course, my book's once a year, mm -hmm. and right. that's the rhythm for mm -hmm. that. Now, trilogies, why? Why not do a six-fur? I think readers, well, why three as opposed to, to more than, yeah. um. Yeah, as opposed to more. I write suspense, and I think that it's stretching belief sometimes when you have the same group, group, group of characters I and they're see. domestic thrillers, yeah. that they could possibly be in some kind of trouble <laughs> repeatedly yeah, um, when yeah. you have a, a mother or a right. suburban husband. And, and you want it to be finished I want it to be safe. realistic, and I want yeah. them to lead into each other. And three, has, I'm not saying I would never expand, yeah, yeah. or I would never go back to just one, but this has worked. It's interesting. Now, Night Watcher is the new book. Right. And uh, tell us a little bit about that book, and then tell us about the promotion for that book. Okay, uh, this book, the premise came to me, uh, I I'm, you know, live in the New York suburbs, and on September 11th, around September 11th, 2001, I heard 
two things on the local news that triggered plot ideas immediately. Uh, one was that crime was way down in the city um, because people were really distracted, obviously. Even the bad guys were distracted. It was a time of people coming together. Um, and, th and that really spoke to me. I thought, well, what if the worst serial killer ever was triggered? You know, because people, the other piece of it was that people who were sort of hanging in the balance between sanity and madness could be pushed over the edge by wow. a traumatic event like that. And if oh, you look, wow. you know, I looked into, you know, Hurricane Katrina, events like that that are sort of global, they can trigger mental illness in people. Wow. And I just, not trigger it, but yeah, trigger them to no, act. Thank you for sharing. I'm yeah, never it was interesting. I know. Yeah, it was just an there. interesting, I'm not saying that anybody is, yeah. because obviously most of us are, we cope. No, that's But right. I was fascinated with a character who might go, Go overboard. Yeah, yeah. So that's when that came to me, but mm -hmm. it took 10 years to write about. I thought it was too raw until now. Yes, um, wow. So now it's. And um, I understand you have a, a pretty exciting promotion, promotion for it now. Yes, and actually, um, I had a trailer created for the book. Mm -hmm. This is my first trailer. Oh, and uh -huh. this is where we have a good example of us working together yes. on a promo, uh, like in a promotional aspect. Yeah. I ran it by Lucia, who had, are we you had some ideas. Are you generally in, involved in promotional ideas? I, yes, to a certain degree. Um, each situation is it's, different. Right, it's always, right. every situation is always different. But in a great editorial author relationship, you know, we, we can bounce ideas you off each other. You collaborate in every aspect of yes. it, it sounds like. You're That's really great. kind of the, yeah. I think of myself as sort of like the, if it was the movies, I'd be the producer. Wow. Where you're kind of the point person for everything that goes That's on great. with with the book. And you also are the middle person between everybody else who's in the publishing house and the author. Got so it. it. It works, you know, you kind of That's funnel great. everything through that way. So well, it can be a lot. It, it can indeed. Yes. It's like you're the hub around yes, which, Yes, yeah. I actually describe it like that sometimes That's to people. That's interesting. Let's take a look at that trailer. Yes, it's great. Not one word, and it's terrifying. Mm -hmm. yeah, That's such a gift. So congratulations Thank you. on the trailer, but also on the book. It just it makes me want to jump right in. Thank you. You mentioned that you think you're the favorite part of your job mm -hmm. is the collaboration at the mm -hmm. beginning, or would you say collaboration throughout? Throughout. I, I love the editorial process, and I love you know, I really see myself as the person, it sounds really corny, but I actually see myself as the person who makes the writer's dreams come true. Oh, and I really yeah. think that that is my job, yeah. is to bring out the best in mm. what the writer is offering and not to be the, mm. not to dictate what the writer is doing or to impose my vision on it. It's to make, it's, you know, I facilitate the author's vision yes. coming out. So that's I love a, that part of my that's job. Wonderful. It, it's, it's, it's great. It's yeah. just a great job. And what about you? What's your favorite part of your job? Hearing from readers or from, well, I should say first from Lucia, obviously. When I've, when I've completed a book, you know, no one's read it. No one's seen it. Um, I have my husband is my first pair of eyes, and he looks at it and gives me feedback. Then it goes to Lucia, who gives me feedback. So if it's positive feedback, that obviously is uh, all that hard work paid off and it worked you yeah. know and if it doesn't mm -hmm. work those are my two chances right. <laughs> to make it work yeah. but then when it goes out there and readers start responding you know right now this night watcher this book um, is yeah. out there in advanced reading copies and yeah. I'm starting to get reviews and a few readers have read it and I love the feedback is it you are did they it again yeah. yeah yeah you did it again you really surprised mm -hmm. me the very last mm -hmm. line in this book is a twist that opens the door to the next book, Sleepwalker. Wow. And then I do that with the second book, too. That's so I terrific. love to know that wow. that twist fooled them. That's wonderful. Uh, how do you decide what to acquire? Uh, are you looking for the, connect it with market opportunities? Oh, my goodness. Um, 
mar you know, market opportunities, it's certainly part of the equation, but there's so many things that go into making the acquisition decision. Uh, you have to um, love the book, your work, you have to love the books you're working on. So when I read books that I feel, I, I just have this feeling when I read the first 10 or 20 pages, sometimes I just go, oh my gosh, like this is it. They've really got wow. it. Wow. I can just tell. Yeah. Um, then I have to convince all my colleagues that yeah. I'm right. Wow. But it's very much, you know, is the writing there and then is the market there yeah. for the book? Yeah. So it's kind of those two things going Coming hand together. in hand. How mm -hmm. do you define what's a good book? That is so hard to answer. It is something about the author's voice. Editors, ta editors talk about this a mm -hmm. lot. It's yeah. a little undefinable, yeah. but just when you're reading it and you can tell that the author has that kind of creative spark. Yeah. I always tell people I can teach them plotting or I can work with them on dialogue, but I can't teach them voice and I can't teach them how to be creative. Yeah. And yeah. I wish I could. Yeah. I really wish I could. That's um, so but interesting. I can't. It's very interesting. And what's up for you now? Where I mean you you do so much <laughs> and you have I love it. I yeah. love every yeah. minute of it. I'm that's so wonderful. lucky to do what I'm doing. Yeah. So I, I don't complain about being busy. That's no, what that's you a want. Good thing, right? <laughs> that's a good thing. Uh, and when my readers say write faster, write more, yeah, I think I'm so lucky yeah. to have that um, support. So I'm I'm about to uh, launch this trilogy. It's Night Watcher followed by Sleepwalker uh, yeah. on sale September twenty fifth. And then Shadow Killer is book three. Uh, and, and these follow the same characters through to the present. So, um, and then what about some ebooks? Don't you? Have yes, some? I do. Oh. Uh, we just we are about to release Harper Collins is uh, they've picked up the rights to my first six thrillers, never before available as digital, you know, in digital format. Wow! They'll be available great, every other exciting. month going forward. Um, every other month for the them. next year. Yes. Mm -hmm. And yes. what are the titles? Uh, well, the first one mm -hmm. is Dearly Beloved. That's out now yeah. already. And then we have and not in this order. Uh, she loves me not. All the way home. Fade to black. In the blink of an eye, and oh no, it'll oh, come to it'll you. Come it'll come to yes, <laughs> the final victim. We're just about out of time. Any final thoughts? Uh, I think it's a really exciting time to be in publishing. I think there's so many opportunities, such as the one when you know Wendy's having these books released as eBooks. It's yeah. just great interesting time. And people are reading more than ever. And people are reading more than ever. Yeah. And I want them to all read Wendy's books, of course, <laughs> <laughs> first and foremost. And I would like to say, you know, I love to connect with my readers. I do a lot of signings. Um, I'm out there at conferences, but I'm also very present in social media. I have yeah. a really active Facebook page. I have a community website. Um, I have a regular website. I answer emails. So I love it when they engage me. Um, so just, just find me. I'll chat with you and we'll get to Sounds know each other. wonderful. Thank you both so much for being here in the Writer's Room. Thank, Thank you for you. having me. I'm Jane Cleland. See you next time.